just dislocated his Stop, shoulder posing. Funny. How do I put it back no, in, bro? Don't touch it. Pull my arm really fucking hard. Pull your arm oh, out? Hard as fuck, pull it out. Yeah. Harder? Harder. Oh. Oh. How do you dis- are you kidding me? How do you no dislocate your arm? Hola everyone! Whew. So today, today's a little bit special, right? You, if you watch some of my past videos, you know my shoulder's not in great condition. I messed it up doing, I don't know, curls or bench press or something. And I basically have a little bit of a torn labrum, real minor, but you know, it's just closer to a strain. Anyway, I went and I bought some KT tape. If you're not familiar with what this is, it is kinesiology tape. And what it does is it's built for athletes that, you know, have probably lesser of what I have. But I'm just going to throw it on there in excessive amounts and see if I can then still train arms even with the injury. Or maybe I'll end up destroying myself. But, you know, I'm in, I'm in worse condition physically, uh, even worse mental health. So, you know, I, I can't do legs again. I've been doing it for like three days in a row. And... You know, it was sore the second time, and then it was even more sore on the third. So I had to think of a second conclusion, and that is going to be the KT tape if I can figure this out. It looks like I tear it here, and then I just take it off. This is confusing as hell. It shouldn't be that confusing. I think I'm just Gabriel Conaway, and my brain doesn't work correctly. I already fucked it up. There we go. Now I simply place this on thou shoulder. Right? Uh, I hope no doctor's watching this and they're like, wow, this kid, uh, this kid's screwed. God forbid he keeps lifting. He's gonna fucking rip his shoulder off. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, that's not bad. I can kind of feel that, like, tension all the way up. <coughs> My voice is not there. I'm definitely doing this wrong. Like, there's no way in hell that this isn't incorrect. I, I have to be making a grave mistake, but you know, you live, you learn. As I said, ex I keep messing it up, bro. Learn from your mistakes. Oh, shark. Ooh, right there. Look at the camera. Figure it out around. That's gonna rip my armpit hair apart. Screw it. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's a strong shoulder. I'm gonna do another for the fun of it. I don't think I need one on my front though, if it's all the labrum, so I think I should just keep wrapping it there. Uh, we'll go one more, and then I can keep all this KT tape in case it is of use. All right, one last one. You know, three KT tape should be good. <coughs> Do not take my word as gospel for anything at all. I mean, seriously. I think I know a little bit about what I'm talking about, but not to the extent that I should. Hence why I'm putting excessive amounts of KT tape on a torn muscle tendon or whatever, and then just going to work out and saying, hey, screw it, I'm Gabe. So right down here, all the way up. This'll work. Oh, it lets me flex. That'll work. I'm good. All right, I'm gonna get some cinematographic stuff rolling and we're gonna get to the gym, baby. Let's do it.
All right, I'm taping myself up again, just to be sure. You know, I felt it a little bit on that set, and I don't want nothing going out of touch doing my fucking reps. So, hey, screw it. I look like a fucking asshole with all this tape on me, but it is what it is. Not too much pressure on the labrum, right? Yeah. I think if I keep my shoulder rolled back enough, like it's not gonna really strain it. Nice uh, little boots down there, blue pants, and a nice uh, weird shirt showing my traps. Yo, you're hype mogging me, bro. Get out of the frame. What? It says culture. Oh. Is it, is your, is it like this at the top? What? Is it like that at the top, or do you like that? No, I cut that. I made my sister do it, bro. I said, can you cut my traps into it, bro? <clears throat> I think it works, bro. All right, I'm keeping it even with like 130 pounds, not going full stack today, just because I don't want to end up tearing nothing, you know what I mean? That could be detrimental to my health, or however you pronounce it. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try not to roll my shoulder too much with these reps. with the tape oh yeah baby now you may be slightly wondering as to why I'm training with a uh, mildly torn labrum I don't really have a good answer for you and hopefully no doctors watching this because otherwise you know they're gonna fucking throw a fit or just say you know this guy ain't got no brain cells left which they'd be correct but realistically this is what I've chosen to do with my life I want this. I want to be able to get on stage again and kind of blow people away with what I was able to achieve. You know, I spent a long time just fat as hell. So this gave me an outlet and something to change my life and kind of inspire people per se, you know, with lack of a better word. I don't want to sound too corny or cheesy, but you know, this is what I enjoy. And the fact that, you know, just because I have a torn labrum, I might not be able to do that for a month and lose a lot of size. I can't take that. <laughs> so I found a new little way to get past it with this tape. And this gives me a new way to kind of achieve what I want to be able to do.
hurt? Yeah, a lot. What are you doing, bro? Training! Guys, Bitcoin's the way to go. Remember that. I think this is inducing more of a pump. I just told Rogers that uh, I'm just wearing PT tape or whatever to uh, supplement my gains. Where does it hurt on your body? Uh, it leads down into my forearm here. Oh yeah, baby. I got an He's got an example, bro. All right. So let's say this is your muscle. Right? That's my muscle. You're, you're pulling it, right? That's my muscle. Right? It's already pulled. Yeah. Not pulled anymore? That's a tear. Uh, That's a tear. So what you need to do? Let's add an extra loop. So this would be your KT So it's tape. acting as another tendon? Yeah. Okay. I understand that. So think about where your hand hurts. You want to it's go from upper delt all the way leading down into here. What you want to do is... My 18th piece of tape. It comes off there? No, you just rip it. So look. Bro, rip, I was... Rip. Bro, I'm so bad at this. Yo, look how big I'm looking. You look great. Thank you, bro. Dude, you always look great. Another inspiration. And also, you want a little stretch. So let's just say, like, yeah, fifty percent of the tape needs to be stretched. Okay. Now try it. Yeah. Is it? Do you actually feel it? Yeah, I do feel it. Because you have all those on you. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Oh. It is what it is, my friends. So, when those fall off, call me. Yeah. I'm gonna help you put it on for like work and, and stuff. And I'm gonna make sure because you don't have anchors. KT tape yeah. is a miracle when you do it right. You should have anchors. I did it like an ape. Yeah. I did it like an ape, like yeah. a caveman, it's bro. Like anchors mean like so, like where you're, so yeah. where it stops, you put one right there. Yeah. And where it starts, you put one a little further yeah. past. So the anchor holds yeah. it and holds, makes, it, makes KT tape even stronger. Word. Noted. I'm just a Spartan, guys. When I rip a muscle, I just... <laughs> I'm getting caught away. Muscle tears don't mean squat. Unless they're leg muscle tears, then I won't train legs for a month. I'm just like that, baby. <laughs> guys, we're spotting Rogers. Oh, yo. You just got smelling sauce off me, bro. Oh, you got that, bro. You didn't even need me. You don't need me at all. You're your own man. Hey, you're fucked with the camera. I'm gonna throw that. I bet I can throw that camera really far. Even though you wrestle like Cookie. I don't think you could. That was dark. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna hey, cut I'm that, bro. Like Mom. The chest right. <laughs>
This tape is ruining my aesthetic. I should take it off and tear my arm. Bye. This kid just dislocated his shoulder stop, 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 posing. Stop, stop, stop. How do I put it back yeah, in, bro? Pull my arm really fucking hard. Pull your arm oh, out? Fuck. Hard as fuck, pull it out. Yeah. Harder? Harder. Oh. Oh. How do you dis... Are you kidding me? How do you no, dislocate your arm? Oh. oh my god, bro. What the hell? <laughs> okay, now that his shoulder is back in socket. Look. No, I just popped his shoulder back in the socket. He just, just dislocated it two seconds ago. Yeah, bro. He goes, yo, can you pop my shoulder? You were you were surprisingly calm, bro. I was terrified. Yeah, he did it posing. He just goes, Dave, and his whole shoulder is like bent out. And I was like, bro. Yeah. Okay. I'm pushing it more than I should, but it's fine. We have All right, I'm gonna go to the posing room and uh, get myself a little bit of a bulk meal after. I think my shoulders are just about trained. I went full on Spartan, man. You know, it's just a minor tear. It should be good. Don't try that at home. Mogging me in my own habitat. <laughs> Bro! All the size just like, that's insane, dude. How long have you been training today? Uh, yeah, get get been an training. interview? He's been training for a year and one month. I think I'm like probably at three years almost. You're my size, bro. That's insane. I wasn't mentally healthy. Wasn't mentally healthy is the way he put it. Same, bro. My oh yeah, the bulk baddies. Bulk baddies. Tristan said I look like a Chia pet. Yo, Jack, yo, I have your card. I have I have his card, bro. He left it in my thing. Yeah, sure. Here. Bro, your mom used to be bad, bro. I can't even catch it. Her high school, keep the mama Christina Graham. She posted high school pics that dying piece, dying piece on the fucking IG. I miss, not away. I love you. I'm your biggest fan on TikTok. What's up guys, welcome back to another banger. Tuning in slightly late, but I had a banger chest day and spanked my monkey to Gabe's mom. Come on. Shut up, monkey boy. No. No. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No. Oh, yeah. Jack Goldman here, the extremely attractive Asian. Um, I just want to say that Miss Conaway, I love you. I kind of did now, so I wish Everybody, I love you so much for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> God! I can't make it 10. What is he even saying without a mic? <laughs> you don't have a mic. You're saying nothing. 
are taking over the vlog. Um, they can't hear you. They can't hear him. How much are you staying? I'm leaving. No. The iPhone. Check it's long. I have to go start my chest there. I'm gonna go. It's 8.30? Oh, fuck. I need to start. This one's a really good read. <laughs> Tristan has a whole library in his truck. Some guys, some really strong men like to delve into the warm walls of a good read. What's wrong with that? <laughs> fuck this off. This is a fly zone. Fuck! This, I'm gonna throw that small book at him! Hold still! Catch! He got, got you a new book. <laughs> Yeah, ow, ow! Just trying to help you, dude. Get you a new fucking book, dude. Fine. How about this one? Bye, bye. Response yeah, to Revolution. Book. The United States and the Cuban Revolution, 1959 to 1961. This one's a good one. Oh, you want me to have it? Yeah. Yeah, throw it at me. <laughs> Thanks for the book, bro. I've got one more you might like. Sign Which one is it? Print. This is more of like a snuff book here. Catch it. Watch out, this one's going far. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to get... Whew. All right, everyone. I'm finished my little Spartan lift of um, arms. I didn't do shoulders because I don't want to rip anything more. It kind of worked out, man. I got my lift in, and I have a bunch of tape on my arm, and I look like a special kid. So it is what it is. You know, I was getting bullied a little bit, mostly for the boots I'm wearing, but it is what it is, man. Tristan gave me two books before I left. Response to the Revolution, the United States and the Cuban Revulsion... Revolution, 1959 to 1961 by Richard E. Welch. And then Silent Spring, the classic that launched the environmental movement by Rachel Carson. What the hell is this kid reading, bro? I'll, I'll show you a little bit of what I read. I have like 18 books in my car. Numbre Uno, Echo and Ramadi. Uh, basically books about soldiers and their experiences during war. I find those very interesting. Erwin Shaw, The Young Lions great book about World War II. Kind of like a realistic uh, fiction memoir. This was one of my favorite books. Brethren, right? Wait, is this the right one? This one was good, but wait, I'm talking about a different one. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Tides of War. Stephen Pressfield. He writes the most incredible books. I'm telling you. Get, get a... Gates of Fire, you might know that. That's like more of a classic, but that's by him. That literature is just like unfathomably good. This is what I'm talking about. The Road to Jerusalem, I, this is book one. So go get this, dude. If you like reading, right? This is about the Knights Templar. This was like one of the best stories I ever read. It moves a little slow, but it's absolutely incredible. I love reading. There's like 11 books on my thing right now, and there's a ton back there, but you know, it is what it is. I'm a reader. Anyway, I am going to roll back home, eat up maybe 2,000 or so calories, mostly in eggs, bacon, and nice little carbs like breads or grain. I don't know. We'll figure it out when I get home. But again, thank you for watching my lift. I wanted to be a Spartan today and lift even though I have an issue. So again, thanks for watching me suffer through it. I love you all. And I think we just hit like 8,000 views over the whole channel. Two days ago, we were at 7,000. So we're growing just stupidly quick. It's incredible. I think we're at 140 subscribers, like not exactly, but close to. So again, you guys are just killing it. Like seriously, it, it means a lot. It's cool to see that kind of, you know, community coming off of a channel that's been around for like a month. So we're gonna keep growing. Thank you, everybody. Love you all. Have a nice one.